Hello friends in this video I will show you how to create dynamic JSON file from taking data from MySQL database and convert that data into one array and convert that array to JSON file full remade and then after create dynamic JSON file. This is my database with name testing and in this database I have one table employee with four column like head, name, gender and destination. In this table I have already inserted some data and I want to fetch this data and generate dynamic JSON file. Friends this my working folder with name create JSON and in this I have ALE create one PHP file with name create JSON file dot PHP. Now I want to create JSON file and folder. I have moved to PHP code part. So I have opened create json file.php and in this file first I have make one file get data. This function will fetch data from table and then store into one array and convert into json format and return data in json format. In this function first I have make database connection. So for this I have write one variable connect is equal to misclick connect function and in this function first parameter is host is equal to locale lost, username is equal to root, password is blank and database name is equal to testing. So this way I have make database connection. Now I have create one SQL query for fetching data from employee table. So for this I have write one query variable is equal to select star from table employee. So our query is ready for fetch data from my SQL table. Here you can write your own query for fetching dynamic data. Now I want to execute this select query so for this I have write result variable is equal to misclick query function and in this function first parameter is database connection string and second parameter is SQL query which I have store into query variable. This function will execute SQL query and store result into result variable. After this I have create one array variable like employee data. In this array variable I will store fetching data in array format. Now I have used while loop which execute a block of code while the specified condition is true. In condition I have write dollar $row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with parameter like my SQL query result which I have store into result variable. This function will fetch all query result data and convert them into associative array and with help of while loop we can get with reference through row variable. In while block I have write employee data array is equal to new array and in this array I have write three key and three value. In first key I have write name with value dollar row with name. In second key I have write gender and the value dollar row with gender and in third key I have write designation with value dollar row with designation column name. So this we can store all fetch data into employee data variable with array data type. Now I have want to convert this associative array to JSON array for this I have used JSON encode function. This function will returns the JSON representation of a value. Now I want to return this function result. So for this I have write return statement with JSON encode function with parameter like employee data variable in which I have store all employee data which I have fetched from employee table. So friends our function is ready if you want to check this function is working or not. I have simply write a co statement with open pre HTML table and in second like I have print our function and in parameter of this function I have simply call get data function and in third line I have write a co statement with close pre tag. Now I want to create dynamic JSON file so first I comment this code and write one variable file name. I want to use today data's file name. 
So for this I have write file name variable is equal to data function with data format day month and year with concatenation operator with dot JSON file extension. So this way I have create dynamic JSON file name. Now I want to create JSON file if file is not created. So I have write if statement with condition and in condition I have use one PHP function file put contents with parameter like file name which you want to write if file not exits then this function will create. In this parameter I have write file name variable and second parameter is data which have to write to this file. Data can be string or array. Here I have call get data function. This function return employee data in array format. If suppose friends file successfully created then I have want to display message like this file created for this I have write echo statement with file name variable. This variable display dynamic file name with string operator with text file created. This way we can display file create message. But suppose there is some error in file creation so I have write error and else block with echo statement with message like there is some error. Now friends I have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that message like 25th June 2016.json file created. You can also check in working folder is there JSON file create with employee data or not. Friends you can see that file is here and now I have opened this file is there data or not. You can see that employee data is here in JSON format. So, friends this is my PHP video tutorial on how to create dynamic JSON file by getting data from my SQL table and PHP. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.